Right, welcome back to the channel. This is a bit of a different vid. And this has been requested by Andrew Smith and Wayne Styles. I just wanted to see a little bit more info on the T7 and how it all works. So I'll open the door. Right, we'll start with the event logs. So these are all the other things that it does. Operator game log, so that's a bit boring. System information shows you what it's all running. There's the games that are installed. There's the number of licenses. Accountancy, we'll get to that one in a minute. This is my games. They're the games that are on at the minute. They're all enabled. They're the themes. They're the themes that I've actually got with it that I can swap if I want to. Um, let's have a look in terminal. That's just the volume. That's, that's if it's in an arcade. You want to leave that on to last. That's if you're running more than one T7, you can link them up. They're just configuration things that are installed. Updates, next reboot. That's just before the alarm goes off. So I'll go back to the operating config. So there's your committed bank and your credit. Um, where are we? That's what it's on. Category B3 and deposited credit. So there's my note acceptor. It's enabled. Payout. I've got it to pay out £20 maximum. All of it is the hand pay, apart from the small one. Data port is nothing. The network, that's, that's nothing as well. What else have we got? Uh, licensing just dis displays the games that I've got on. Then they're my full license games. <coughs> I don't know why it says um, Clockwork Orange not installed because it is. I think it is. I'm sure it is. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it's there. I don't know why it says that, but. Um, service is nothing because I have to put my key in. So updates. I shall just show you updates. So updates. You can just rest that on there. Yeah. Updates of when you wanna put extra games on. So I'll put me USB in. That brings up all my games. So there are all my games that are on my USB. And if I wanted to say put Britain's Got Talent on, just press select copy, copy the files, it'll copy them over. When you set that out, you go into config, we'll find a game that we want to delete. We'll, we'll get rid of Rambo. What do we put on? Britain's Got Talent. Well, obviously this will say demo only, because <coughs> it's not a game that I've got a license for, so it would only work in demo. Shut that up while I'm waiting. So there's Britain's Got Talent. And as you can see, I've enabled a game with no license. So it will only be available in demo mode. So we obviously won't bother with that. I think that's about it. Alright, uh, accountancy. I'll just show you what accountancy is. This is just the percentage that the games are running on. So if I press detailed and list the games, so 
with a boogie nights 205% money go around 32% and if I keep pressing them they'll change these are just the figures from when I first obviously got the machine plus however long it's been used £80,000 on hand pay obviously I haven't had that £110,000 in notes but yeah this is just shows you what the percentage of the game's on Britain's got talent nothing obviously because I've just installed it so that's that there's not really anything else I can really show you um, let me just see quickly if I can activate the fob key the service key on it this is it awkward when it's dark This just tests. You can test your LEDs. So they'll just flash because you, you're testing them. Um, what else can we test? Switch test. So they'll, they'll just all test. Restore parts. You need a USB for that. Audio test. Channels. Right channels. And then we'll do both. Both channels. So there's quite a few things you can test. You can do hopper hopper test. You can dump a pound if you want. You can dump a ten p. So there's a pound. And there's a ten pence. So you can test all them, you can look at the meters, we've done the LEDs, the touch screen test. And that's about it, in there. And that's about all I can really show you, I can't really show you inside the machine because there's no way to see, other than the PC. And the MPU, it's a bit dark in there, so I can't really show it. So, at least that explains a little bit more. Obviously, the main thing is the config, which is you know, the games where you're adding the games. I'll just get rid of that and then I shall restore that one, which is a, a fully licensed game. And this will license without saying demo only. It's time to install. So there we go. As you can see, that didn't say demo only. And if I click press the demo screen, that's how they're all on there. So there you have it. So at least we get to see a little bit more how the T7 works. That was requested by Andrew Smith and Wayne Styles. Sorry it took so long, I just forgot all about it. I had that many requests to get through, I just forgot about it. So I hope you, uh, hope you find it a little bit more interesting. So please like and subscribe and I shall see you all again on the next one. Take care.